Zandi Lindlovu is the founder of the Black Mermaid Foundation. Her goal is to create diverse representation in the ocean arena. So what happens when you are 23 meters deep at sea on one breath and you begin to panic? This happened over and over and over again for me on my journey to becoming South Africa's first black African freediving instructor. And so you might be asking, what is freediving? If you can picture in scuba diving when you have a tank and you can, you can breathe through your entire dive, in freediving, that tank is your lungs. And so you take a big, beautiful breath and you dive into the ocean and you begin to explore. Part of my requirements to becoming an instructor was that I needed to reach 32 meters deep on one breath comfortably. So you're probably wondering, how did we get here? A black woman from Soweto, a location in Johannesburg far from the water. It starts in 2016 when I'm going through this hard time and I find myself in Bali, happen to get onto a snorkel trip and have this woman sit opposite me and say, have you ever been snorkeling before? As I respond, no as she tells me what it means to kit up, as she holds up the mask and the snorkel and she says, you breathe in and out through your snorkel. What follows is the most incredible experience of marine life, beautiful fish and beautiful moray eels and incredible ocean floors. But what ultimately happens is my sense of belonging. I finally feel at home in a way that I had never ever felt before. I didn't need to explain myself here. I just belonged. And so what follows is me asking everyone, what happens after snorkeling? Scuba diving, of course. And this was another incredible world of whales and sharks and dolphins and all of this while you are breathing underwater. It was a world unimagined, except it wasn't that feeling in 2016. In 2018, I find myself scrolling along on social media and I see these three girls and they duck dive into the ocean and they are swimming along the ocean floor. No tanks in sight. I will never forget the moment as I said, what witchery is this? And Google responded that it was free diving. And so as luck would coincide, I find myself going on my first course and on that first dive, there it is, that feeling of home, that feeling of belonging, exactly where I need to be, knowing I wanted to tell everybody who would listen and that I wanted to teach, but also realizing that this world was wildly undiverse. And that's how I started the Black Mermaid Foundation, an organization that is working to create access to ocean spaces to youth from marginalized communities. And so what has the ocean taught me? It's taught me three things. One, to be present. That everything that we do as we are present in the present builds towards our futures that we hope for. In free diving, when you get to about 13 meters, you begin to free fall. This means that you journey to the depths of the ocean without even needing to fin. And so for me, this journey is the line. And it is just listening to the line as you descend. Eyes closed. And somewhere along the way on your journey, you feel this big thud in your chest, your first contraction. Your body is begging to breathe. Except you're not turning back. You still have a journey to finish. And so when you get to the bottom, whatever depth it is that you go for, you turn around, you grab hold of that line and you pull up to the surface and still you do not look up, not how far you have to go, but you are here with the line. And as you ascend and you recovery breathe and you tell everyone that you're okay, you realize that you're back to the land of the living, reminiscent of a beautiful trance that just happened, the gift of the present. Two to always be in truth. For me, there is no space at the depths of all the seas to carry everything that happens in the world. And so as I lay on the surface of the water before every single dive, I lay everything on the surface of those waters. 
in order to make way for the most beautiful dives. And three, I realized that I could not get past 23 meters, not because I didn't have the breath hold for it. I had four times the breath hold for it, but I was afraid. And so it was to walk up to my fear over seven months to touch it and see what lived in there. It was the fear of all the stories that we had heard growing up of snakes that live in deep waters, of how deep waters were sacred ancestral places, the fear of drowning, the fear of death, the fear of the unknown. And so what would it mean to walk up to the sphere and recruit it? Because we all didn't know what was down there, but to be with the sphere and explore together. The gift of freediving is learning to be present, to hold your fear, no matter how big it is, to hold that discomfort in love as you figure out the next all on one breath. My name is Zandilin Joko, and I'm a proud African woman. Thank you.